again, maybe a romanticized philosophical question, but uh, when you look up at the stars, knowing that, you know, there's at least a uh, hundred billion of them in the Milky Way galaxy, right? So we're really a small speck in this giant thing that's the visible universe. How does that make you feel about our efforts here? I love the perspective. I love that perspective. I always open my public talks with a big Hubble Space Telescope. I mentioned looking out into, you mentioned just now, the solar system, the Milky Way, because I really I think it's really important important to know that we're just a small pale blue dot we're really fortunate we're on the best planet by far life is fantastic that here. we know of you're I confident we'll, this is the best planet <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's the best planet the best planet that we know of i mean i, I searched my research is you know in mission worlds and when will we find life yeah. i think actually in probably the next decade we find probably past life probably the evidence of past life on mars, mars? let's say you that, think there was pretty like once life on mars oh, or yeah. do you think there's currently uh, I'm more comfortable saying probably 3.5 billion years ago, I feel pretty confident there was life on Mars just because then it had an electromagnetic shield. It had an atmosphere, has a wonderful gravity level. 3, 3HG is fantastic. You know, you're all super human. We can, human, we can all slam dunk a basketball. I mean, it's going to be fun to play sports on Mars. But so I think we'll find past the, no, fossilized, probably the evidence of past life on Mars. Currently, that's again, we need the next decade, but the evidence is mounting for sure. We do have the organics. We're finding organics. We have water, seasonal water on Mars. We used to just know about the ice caps, you know, North and South Pole. Now we have seasonal water. We do have the building blocks for life on Mars. We really need to dig down into the soil because everything on the top surface is radiated. But once we find down, will we see any any life forms? Will we see any bugs? I, I leave it open as a possibility. But I feel pretty certain that past life or you know, fossilized life forms will find. And then we have to get to all these ocean worlds, these, these beautiful you know, moons of other, other planets. Since we know they have water and we're looking for since simple search for life, for fo follow the water, you know, carbon-based life. That's the only life we know. There could be other life forms that we don't know about, but it's hard to search for them because we don't know. So in our search for life in the solar system, it's definitely you know, search, you know, let's follow the water and look for the building blocks of life. So you think in the next decade, we might see hints of past life or even current life? I think so. That's pretty I optimistic. love the optimism. I'm pretty optimistic. Do humans have to be involved or can this be robots and rovers and- uh... it's Probably teams. I mean, we've been at it on Mars in particular, 50 years. We've been exploring Mars for 50 years. Great data, right? Our images of Mars today are phenomenal. Now we know how Mars lost its atmosphere. You know, we're starting to know because of the- lack of the electromagnetic shield. We know about the water on Mars. So we've been studying 50 years with our robots. We still haven't found it. So I think once we have a human mission there, we just accelerate things. It's always humans and our rovers and robots together. But we just have to think that 50 years we've been looking at Mar Mars and um, taking images and doing the best science that we can. People need to realize Mars is really far away. It's really hard to get to. You know, this is extreme, extreme exploration. We mentioned Magellan first, or mm -hmm. all of the wonderful explorers and sailors of the past, which kind of are lots of my inspiration for exploration. Uh, Mars is a different ball game. I mean, you know, it's yeah. eight months to get there, year and a half to get home. I mean, it's really extreme Harsh environment in all kinds of ways. Yeah, but. Uh, the kind of organism we might be able to see hints of on Mars are kind of microorganisms, perhaps. Yeah, and think... remember that humans, uh, we're kind of, you know, we're hosts, right? We're hosts to all of our bacteria and viruses, right? <laughs> Do you think it's a big leap from the viruses and the bacteria to us humans? Put another way, do you think on all those moons, beautiful wet moons that you mentioned, you think there's intelligent life out there? I hope so. I mean, that's that's the hope, but uh, you know, we don't have the scientific evidence for that now. I think uh, all the evidence we have in terms of life existing is much more compelling again because we have the building blocks of life now. When that life turns into intelligence, that's a big unknown. If we ever meet, do you think we would be able to find a common language? I hope so. We haven't met yet. It's just so far. I mean, do physics does play a role here. Look at all these exoplanets, 6,000 exoplanets. I mean, even the couple dozen Earth-like planets that are exoplanets that really look like habitable planets. These are very Earth-like. They look like they have all the building blocks. I can't wait to get there. The only thing is they're 10 to 100 light years away. So scientifically, we know they're there. We know that they're habitable. They have, you know, everything going for them, right? Like, you know, we call them in the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold, just perfect for habit habitability for life. But now the reality is if they're 10 at the best to 100 to thousands of light years away, 
so what's out there? Uh, but I just uh, can't think that we're not the only ones. So absolutely life, life in the universe, probably intelligent life as well. 